Hello, and welcome to the Invent with Scratch screencast. I'm Al Swigert, and in this screencast we're going to make a Tron game, which is also called Light Cycles. It's where you have two different vehicles that are leaving walls trailing behind them, and you try to get the other player to crash into your wall. It's kind of hard for me to control both of these at the same time. So we have the A and D keys controlling the left-right motion of player one, and then the left and right arrow keys controlling the motion of player two. So let's go ahead and take a look at the code inside of this. We'll create a brand new project. And the first thing we're going to do is we'll right click on this cat and delete it because we won't need that cat sprite. Instead, what we're going to do is select the spaceship sprite from Scratch's library. So click on choose sprite from library. And this will be under the transportation category. It'll be this spaceship right here. So select that and click OK. Now let's go to the Costumes tab and click on that. We won't need this second costume right here, so we can click on the X to delete it. And then we're going to want to select the entire spaceship and rotate it to face towards the right. So click on this anchor point at the top right here and rotate it around until it's facing perfectly to the right. And the reason we do that is because all the sprites start off facing in the right direction we want to have the direction that the sprite faces to be the same direction that the nose of the spaceship faces. So let's add the code for this spaceship. Oh, actually first let's shrink this spaceship down. We don't need it to be that big. Let's so click on the shrink tool and then click several times on this spaceship. That's about a good size. So at the very start of the program, we're going to want some stuff to happen. So grab this when green flag clicked block. And we're going to want this spaceship to start off somewhere over here facing in the up direction. So let's say around negative 160 for X. So go to the dark blue motion category and grab this go to X, Y block. And we'll just set this to negative 160 and a Y of zero. Now having this go to x, y block is the exact same as having two of these set x2 and set y2 blocks. But we're just going to use the go to x, y since we have to set both of them anyway. So next we'll go to the pen category. And the pen is what will be drawing that line behind it. So we, meet, we need to set up the pen a little bit first. We'll grab this set pen color to block. And we'll click on the color box and then select this blue color for player one. And we don't want the pen to be just that really thin size of one. So we'll set the pen size to a larger value, say maybe about eight. And then last, we'll put the pen down so that it starts drawing, whereas pen up will cause it to stop drawing as the spaceship moves around. So that's all the setup code that we need. Now we can enter into the forever loop. So go to the orange control section and grab this forever block. Now the code that will execute again and again forever will be moving the spaceship forward in whatever direction it's facing, and then checking if the A or D keys are held down, and that'll cause the spaceship to turn to the left and to the right. And once we add all the code for one of these spaceships, we'll go ahead and duplicate this sprite for player two. So first things first, let's just rename this sprite to player one. So in the dark blue motion category, we just need this move 10 steps block, although we don't want it to move that fast. Let's have it move at six steps each time. And then we'll need to check if the A key is being held down. And if so, we'll then have the spaceship turn to the left. First, let's go to the orange control section and grab this if block. And then from the light blue sensing category, grab the key spaced pressed block. Instead of the space key, we'll say it's the A key. And if the A key is being pressed, then we'll turn the spaceship 15 degrees to the left. Let's go ahead and right click on this if block because we'll need to duplicate it for the D key and turning to the right. So we'll just change this to D. And then we'll just take this out and grab the turn right block instead. So we can actually test this out. Let's go ahead and just click on the green flag. That's pretty good. The A key causes the rocket to turn to the right, and the D key causes the rocket to turn to the left. 
And let's go ahead and also set this so that the spaceship is pointed in the right direction each time the program starts. Let's have player one always facing up. So one problem with this is that we don't clear out the pen strokes from the previous game. So we'll have to get rid of that also. We can have the stage sprite handle that. So at the very beginning of the program, when the green flag is clicked, we'll have the stage just run this clear pen block. And so that'll clear out all the colors at the start of the game. Next, we need to have this ship check if it's touching the color of the enemy's wall, and if so, broadcast a message saying that player one has lost. So we'll go to the orange control section and grab one of these if blocks. And then from the light blue sensing category, we'll grab one of these touching color blocks. We'll say that the color of, the, of player two's block will be the same color as these green pen blocks. And in this case, we want to broadcast a message to all the sprites that says player one has lost and player two has won. So we'll grab this broadcast block from the brown events category. We'll change this to be a new message that says um, player two wins. Since player one has just crashed and lost, so player two wins. All right, let's go ahead and duplicate this sprite it automatically gets named player two. We'll have to make some changes to it though, because if we just run the program right now, both of these sprites have the exact same code. So you can see they're moving, they're, they're starting from the exact same place and then moving at the same time that we press the A and D keys. So player two should start off on the right side at positive 160, and we'll have player two always facing down at the start of the game. And player two's pen color will be the green color of these pen blocks which means it will have crashed if it touches the blue color of player one's wall. And in that case, we want to broadcast a message that says player one wins. And finally, we want the left and right arrow keys to control the second player's motion. So let's try this out. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now nothing happens when they run into the other player's wall because we haven't programmed anything for that yet, so let's do that now. For player one, we'll move this off to the side. We need to write code that handles when it receives the player two wins message. Player one broadcasts this message whenever it crashes, so we'll just say the player that loses, we'll just say, ah, and then stop the program. So under the purple looks category, we'll just grab this, say hello for two seconds, but instead of hello, ah, gar, 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 will be what the player says. It seems a little long. Okay. And then we'll have it stop the program right after it's done saying "og" for two seconds. But we don't want the spaceships to keep going since this loop will still be looping over and over and over again, causing the spaceships to move even after one of them has lost. So let's grab this stop block and change this from stop all to stop other scripts in this sprite and put that before the two seconds that it says "og." So when player two wins, this stop block will cause this script to stop executing, and so the player won't move forward anymore. And then let's handle the other broadcast message when player one wins. In that case, we'll still want this stop other scripts in, the, in sprite block, so grab that and set it to other scripts in sprite. Except this time we'll just have the player say something victorious like, I win! Ha ha ha. All right, let's copy these scripts over to player two. And when we click on player two, we'll see that, oh, this is kind of messy. Move that over. And we'll have to change around this logic because actually 
player two will say ogle ga 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 when player one wins, and will say I win when player two wins. So now let's test it out. Let's click on the green flag, and I'll test with player two losing. That seems to work all right. And now I'll test it out with player one crashing. And now you can have both of your friends. One of you can be controlling player one with the A and D keys, and the other player can be controlling the second player with the left and right arrow keys. So you can both be at the same keyboard playing this at the same time, trying to get the other player to crash. So I hope you found this screencast helpful. I'm Al Swigert. Thanks for watching.